out with a popper, niggas wanna steal me. Wanna steal. I can't bust the on proper, make these niggas make these niggas it. crazy. How I let the same with that trying to kill me. Still stood on solid principles when these niggas ain't feel me. Need somebody lined up, I get the job done. You ain't know I strip niggas and I rob niggas. Different flavors in this wood having a pop. What's good, y'all? It's your main man, Daquan, and I'm back with another video for y'all. And in this video, we about to be showing y'all the most underrated pie chart in 2K22. Not a lot of people use this one in the comp scene or just the good player, quote unquote, scene. As well as, we're going to be showing y'all a build I'm going to be using. But start off with small forward. We're doing that for a reason. Not a lot of people use small forwards either. And for your handedness, it doesn't matter. But I, I just don't like it when I see people switch from left and right. Just choose what you're comfortable with or else it's going to mess up your whole triple threat game. But go ahead and do what you want. But pie chart is going to be this one right here, the yellow and blue. The offensive potential for this pie chart right here is crazy. We already got the slashing. We already got the playmaking. We can shoot a little bit because that playmaking allows just any build to just shoot a little bit and we're already going to be fast from that playmaking and we're already going to be a little bit strong from that slashing so when it comes to defense it's going to be there now usually when people use this pie chart to make builds they usually use that one pie chart to get the max speed then they put the less weight but guess what we ain't going to be doing none of that bro we're going to be using our speed that we already got as well as the strength that we're gonna be adding onto our build. Like y'all gonna see, the build's gonna be nice. I've always found myself gravitating towards the defensive pie charts, but I've always wanted to make and just use this pie chart. And again, with the physical attribute, go ahead and go with the third one, the speed and strength, not just the speed that everyone goes with. Now for the attribute, go ahead and fill basically all the finishing up, but leave post hook. Post hook is only gonna give us two extra badges, but for the shooting, we are gonna be shooting on this build. Go ahead and Put everything up free post fade to 68 and i'll pay attention to this this is something i just found out when making this build look we get 30 play making badges again with that one pie chart bro what the fuck and now this is only on a small forward too look we have the pie chart just to make sure we're not on the uh, pure yellow we are on a yellow blue 30 play making badges no, now on a, a point guard and a shooting guard, you get 25 playmaking with this pie chart on a power forward 26 and then on a center 27. It's kind of weird, but on a small forward 30. Now, this is the only pie chart I've seen done this. And this is the only uh, position I've seen done something like this. Just a pie chart with a split blue, yellow, red, green. It doesn't matter. Just a pie chart that allows you to get 30 badges and not the same shit you feel me but we're not gonna use it but i was just showing y'all that we are gonna go with 18 11 and 22 badges for the top three and then five for the defense now if we did try to use 30 playmaking badges it honestly would kind of make the build insufficient in some areas but you can make it work you just got to kind of take down your shooting we'll show you right here look we'll put the defense back up just to how we had it and then boom look try to do something like this we still have eight badges but again we can't get that full 30 without depleting something but i bet you still can make an op build with that 30 playmaking now if you know any other build that can do something like this let me know because i want to check it out i'm probably not going to make that shit, but i just want to see kind of cool but take a good look at what we have here if you do want to make the build 18 11 22 for the badge setup again now for the body type we're gonna go ahead and go with burly burly now the max height you can go with on a small forward 610 take a look at the stats if you want to if you are thinking of making this build but we're gonna go with six seven just right in the middle now this is what it's gonna look like at max weight honestly not too bad you still have about 80 speed and then 90 strength as a small forward six seven we're not gonna do that but that is kind of cool but take a look at it at 180 we have 85 speed then 59 strength and then take a look at what we're gonna put it at which is 208 83 speed with 69 strength so basically minus two speed for plus 10 strength i'm taking that all day now for the wingspan if we put it all the way up the duncan goes up we're not gonna do this but look 83 speed 66 strength not too bad, but we would like to have a little bit more shooting as well as keep that 80 ball handling 
and just get the animations we like what we're gonna go with is 82 we're gonna get contact dunks at 97 overall we're gonna have a 65 three-pointer and pro dribble moves op now for the slashing options we have all all of these i mean for the takeover options we have all of these but playmaking is a underrated option shot creating is an underrated option but both of these options kind of take too long to get in game so we're gonna go with the op slash and take for the name pass first wing that's pretty rare i've never seen one of these and i probably have but most of the time when you see this name it's usually a two-way pass first wing but we got the og pass first wing basically a lebron build a lot of people be saying they got the lebron build get the fuck out of here we got the lebron build bitch but look for the bad setup come on now it's simple we already know what we're gonna put on now we got two badges left we can put lob city fast twitch it's 18 is basically the perfect number with to also having hall of fame like i don't know this is a good setup right here for 18 now for the shooting we do get shooting badges i don't have too many shooting builds in this game like one or two but we'll put sniper green machine maybe on silver we don't get too many but best believe we'll make it work catch and shoot corner specialist maybe if we want to run the ball dead eye people try to step up on us i don't know if those other badges like blinders lucky and seven work i heard they're good but i don't know how often they'll be useful but for the playmaking dimer is something we can go with i never really use dimer on my builds because i can't really get it my main build is a red blue but for the setup we'll do handles for days this is what i use on my 6 8 i don't even i kind of dribble a lot but that's silver and be working for me but this is a setup i might go with quick first step unpluckable bullet passer maybe i'll take that down if i want to up my playmaking or just passing abilities you feel me like dimer and floor general you better not be missing on my team if i hit you in the corner with dimer and floor general come on now but for the five defensive badges it's simple we went straight to it we know what we want chase down interceptor intimidator rebound rim protector and that's it but if you enjoyed the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and